Well, good morning, everybody. Today is the last Friday of March. Now, a couple of things. January, February, March, for my quarter library book haul, there had been a few DNFs that I have. Ugly Love, Luckiest Girl Alive. Out of the books that I have read to and listened, We Spread Rather by Ian Red Reed. That book, oh my God, I give it a five. If you are the type of person that you had family, you know, loved ones that are in a old age home, as we used to call it back in the day. It's a very good book. First to Die by James Patterson. That was an okay book. I ran out of time for the second book. It's a series, The Women's Murder Club, I believe. And it's not hitting me as well as the first one, or I'm not liking it as the first one as the first one I did. Brenda Novak, trust me. This That one is about a dentist, I believe it was a dentist, that assaulted one of his patients or was about to assault one of his patients. And it's just like, well, you know, you, you kept on. You kept on with that masquerade of what happened? You know, what happened? It's like, it, it, to me, it seemed like the author was afraid to really dive into the actual night. You're skirting around the issue, you know. The Frozen River, I actually want, but this, this is, this is it. Uh, the Frozen River. I really enjoyed reading it. I really did. Uh, basically, it's about, um, about a lady named Martha Ballard. Whoops. So it's about Martha Ballard. She's a midwife back in the late 1700s, right? And the, op the book opens up with a man floating in the river, in the frozen river, before it freezes over completely. And this is in Maine, back in the late 1700s, between, you know, 35 years, uh, between 35 years. And it's, oh my God, at first I was like, well, I'm going to give it a four. And then at the at very end of it, I, you know, I'm giving it a five because I did a lot more of the research, watching um, the interview between countless other people and Ariel Lahan, Lahan. And I'm finding out that the one thing I really, I'm really enjoying about how I read and what I read is the historical fiction portion of it. You know, I like history and I like fiction. So why not combine the two together? Historical fiction. So I'm reading, I read that. It was really good. I listened to You Shouldn't Have Come Here. You Shouldn't Have Come Here by Geneva Rose. That one, it, it was okay. I'd give it a three. Pops. Um, Ruth Ware, Zero Days. I, I want to I want to get all of her books. I think there's one more that I, I need to get. I, I want to get and read. Still Missing. Um, a, a colleague of mine told me about the book. And that... <sighs> That, well, that book was awesome. That book, oh, I loved it. Because to me, it's like the author was not afraid to dive into the actual scene or scenes. It's got a lot of triggers to it. There's rape in the book, assault, um, the fake mate. I read that for, for February. <laughs> And it was, it was one of January's picks for book of the month. And I really enjoyed it. It was, it was cute, funny, ha ha. It wasn't too serious. It's about two wolf shifters. I didn't catch the footprints on the book until later on. And I was like, oh, that makes more sense now. They're wolf <laughs> shifters. One's an alpha, one's an omega from the library because baby girl. Uh, yeah. The Paris Assignment Sit. by Rise Bowen or Reese Bowen. The Case for Faith, Lee Strobel. That one, it was okay. It, it was more of an academic accolade, if you will. It's like, I really don't want to read academic. Shadow Glass, I finished. And Heart Forger by listening to it on Audible. They were okay. It... My my taste, not as much fantasy, more science fiction than fantasy. I'll, I'll delve myself into it a little bit. If I, was, if I was more of a fantasy reader, I would give it a higher praise. Someone had to do it. Amber Danielle Brown. That was, I also listened to it on Audible. It was, it was okay. 
Um, I'd give it, I think I, I gave it a four. Yeah, I gave it a four. Three viewpoints, a setup, uh, and a sting. What more could you ask for? That's what I read so far this year to read April, May, and June. So what I would like to read for April, May, and June, this a second chance, or should I say a third chance to read this this book for from Steve Kavanaugh. I'm going to give it a third chance because it was, it, you know, at times the writing is a little bit hard to read. Okay, the, the, the sentence structure is not where I'd like it to be. So I'm going to give it a third chance. If I don't like it, it's going to go back to the library. The Princess of Las Vegas by Chris Bahalian and The Womb City by Alotlo Bamamese. No, some some mace. Both of them look pretty pretty tempting. And the other one that I just put on hold, the women by Kristen Hanna. And then the uh, the one that I want to I want to, I want to get in the habit of reading one book a month for my own library. So without further ado, now for April, the one book in my library that I'm going to be reading, uh, attempting to read anyway, is this book. I've got plenty whether it be digital or physical format. It does not matter, or audio format. It does not matter. It's a part of my library. Well, this one. In May, I will put, I will say, I want to read when it becomes available. Husbands. Phew, that's it. <laughs> Husbands. Ooh, the mystery writer. This one that I have for, for myself. This is, I'll be, to be accountable. April, June, in June, I will do Felix Ever After, The Boy With a Bird in His Chest. Yes, you are trans enough. I don't want to read it. 300 some pages, oh. okay. June, okay, read. And we have this for April, May, and June. Okay, now, <laughs> that's my one quarter recap for april the princess of las vegas womb city the women and the intern for may we're doing husband the mystery writer and me talk pretty one day and then june since it's pride month felix ever after the boy with a bird in his chest and yes you are trans enough and then it next month I want you all to come and show up for the live feed on uh, april 20th i'll have that link so you can mark your calendar um for that at the bottom in, in the details okay but i want you guys to have a great day i hope you have a great day i hope i have a great day i'm having a great day <laughs> but i want to thank you for your support and the best way to support my channel is to hit that subscribe button and if you like my content today hit like or that thumbs up and and comment if you want to if you want to know more about anything you listened to today or going forward but all right talk to you guys later love you stay safe love you all enjoy your weekend bye